What's up everyone? This is Dr. Webb here. Today I'm going to be talking about um, a article that I read recently in the uh, Journal of the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons. This is one of our kind of re review journals that uh, we commonly read and has all the latest research. This is a June 2017 edition um, and the article the name of the article is the uh, survival guide for the orthopedic surgery uh, match uh, process. As you know, orthopedic surgery is one of the most competitive specialties to match into uh, up there along with neurosurgery, plastic surgery, dermatology. Um, orthopedic surgery is uh, pretty challenging to go into. So I wanted to talk about kind of this article and uh, my thoughts on it and what the kind of research shows. Um, but in general, the number of applicants for fourth year applicants who apply to residency, the number of applicants kind of always exceeds the number of positions. So there's always um, lots of different applicants, not enough uh, residency spots. But for orthopedic surgery, in general, uh, the step one score was the average was 245. This was um, based off a number of years from 1984 to 2011. The average step one score was 245. The average step two score was 250. The number of research experiences most people had on average 3.5. The number of abstracts and presentations and publications was 7.7. .7. I thought that was uh, pretty impressive. The number of volunteer experiences was 7.5. Um, so for a uh, for background, in 2016, for all residency positions, there was 35,476 applicants for 27,860 spots. So lots of applicants, not enough spots. Um, they stated that the goal of the applicants to is to uh, construct the strongest possible portfolio that you can. And that includes your step one score, your letters of recommendation, your first and second year grades, your clinical grades, your volunteer, if you were in honor society, all of those kind of comprise your portfolio. Um, in 2002, Bernstein, um, he surveyed program directors in orthopedic surgery and asked them, what, was, what are the most important things that you look for? And they, they uh, put it in a 10 point um, importance scale with 10 points indicating the greatest importance. Guess what they found? The most important thing that program directors look at for orthopedic surgeon uh, residency spots is the your way rotations. So most students, they're mo most likely to get accepted or match into a program that they rotated in. Number two was your step one score. Number three was the rank in your medical school class. Um, some other important um, aspects, if you are AOA, the uh, Alpha Omega Alpha uh, membership, graduation from a top 40 medical school, and um, those are some other things that are important. Um, everyone talks about your step one score, which is very important, but they stated that no studies have been able to demonstrate that a high step one score is, is a predictor of success in your residency program. Um, like I said, the most important thing is your away rotations. For orthopedics, most people do two to three away rotations in their fourth year of medical school. I actually did four. I did three at my home, I'm sorry, I did three. I did one at my home program and then three away rotations. And what was interesting, and it says that one finding in the study from Dr. Baldwin in 2014 was that uh, the chances of matching were highest for students who performed two away rotations and decreased for those performing three, which I can partially relate to. At my last way rotation, I was just exhausted, and I, I don't feel like I put in as much effort as I put in for my first two. So I say two, three, two to three away rotations, no more than three. Uh, you will be working a lot, so I think you will wear yourself out, and you want to make the best impression. So um, I would say three at maximum for away rotations. Um, other things, communication. Um, um, from the program, it's okay to kind of send some emails before, but you have to be cautious about sending emails and contacting the programs afterwards. So I thought this was a, was a pretty good review article about the match process in orthopedic surgery. Like I said, from this study, it showed that the most important factor was rotating at a way program, and most students who 
ro uh, rotated away program, they match into that program. Step one is important. The, uh, the number, the ranking, your medical school class, if you are AOA, which is an honor society in medical school, that's a, that's, um, a positive, as well as your uh, clinical grades, letters of recommendation. So if you want to get into the top specialties, I think you can extrapolate the findings from this study into most of the competitive programs, plastic surgery, dermatology. Um, you can use some of these things to uh, help you match. Uh, so I help. I hope that this uh, this study um, uh, helps some of you guys out there in your selection process when you're trying to choose programs or trying to choose a specialty. And um, orthopedic surgery is very competitive, but it's not impossible to get into. If you guys have any more questions, email me at overcomingtheoddsbook at gmail.com or hit me up on my, up on my website, antoniawebmd.com. See you next time.